Hi, I'm Michelle Onifre with International Mountain Connection. Welcome to Mountain Madness. In this episode, I'm going to explain what it means when we say, I'm going to be sick. If you are a guide or if you work in mountain rescue, this is really important because your client or your victim is trying to tell you something. They're trying to tell you they have a problem, but what is it? Let's take a closer look. Let's say that your client's name is Bob. And when you look at Bob, his skin is really pale. Now that means that his skin has a color that is lighter than usual. When we have pale skin, we know mm, something isn't right. So you ask Bob, are you okay? And Bob might reply, I think I'm gonna be sick. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay, let's slow that down. I think I'm gonna or going to be sick. When someone says, I think I'm going to, it means that they imagine in the future that something might happen. It's possible. So I can say, I think I'm going to climb Everest in 2022. Or I think I'm going to the supermarket tomorrow. Or I think I'm going to the movies this afternoon. However, if someone says, I think I'm going to be sick, that means something is going to happen in the very near future. Not in five years or five months or five hours. We are talking about in the next five minutes. So we think something is going to happen. He thinks he's going to be sick, but what does it mean to be sick? Well, if Bob says, I think I'm going to be sick, it means that Bob is going to throw up. Throw up. Throw up. Throw up. Okay, so two words that you know, but when you put them together, there is a new definition. When Bob says he thinks he's going to throw up, it means he thinks he's going to vomit. So if you don't know the word vomit, it means all of the liquid and the food in Bob's stomach is going to exit his body via his mouth, okay? So Bob is trying to share critical information that he thinks he's going to vomit. Now, if you are a guide, this is important because you need to make sure Bob is in safety. If he throws up, is he going to lose his balance and fall? Um, also, how do you get Bob down the mountain? Can Bob walk? Do you need to call uh, mountain rescue? <laughs> and if you're mountain rescue and Bob is your victim, usually the victims are on their back, so they're horizontal, okay? And if someone is going to vomit or be sick, it's very dangerous for them to do that while they are horizontal. So it's important to understand if Bob is telling you that he has this problem. So maybe when you look at Bob, his eyes are fixed and he's breathing very carefully. And then Bob says, I'm going to be sick. 
I'm going to be sick. If you hear that, ah, 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 warning, Houston, we have a problem because Bob does not think that maybe in the future he is going to vomit. It means that right now, Bob is going to vomit. Be careful, this is happening now, okay? So I realize that talking about Bob being sick or Bob thinking that he's going to be sick, it's not very glamorous or fun or exciting. However, it is very important. And even if you're not a guide or working in mountain rescue, if you are friends with an English speaker and they say, I'm going to be sick, you know they need help, first of all. And second, maybe it's good to just, you know, move a little to the side. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. That's what it means when we say, I'm going to be sick. If you would like to receive a notification when the next Mountain Madness video is released, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button and the bell. And remember why trust International Mountain Connection with your English training. Because Brian isn't in the kitchen, he's in the mountains. And I'll see you next week. Bye!